Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Rostec unveils unmanned fighter. Also, Aquiline drone supports veteran pilot training, and Aerovironment gets Switchblade 600 contract. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Rostec unveils unmanned fighter. Russian state manufacturer Rostec has unveiled its new unmanned fighter, currently called the Checkmate at the Dubai Air Show. The Sukhoi Checkmate has been billed as the fifth generation light tactical aircraft, the first of its kind in Russia, though commentators argue its size pushes it closer to the medium role, being only marginally smaller than the full-size Su-57 Felon. With all the makings of a single engine, low visibility, low-cost aircraft, the unmanned aircraft could be the start of a new branch in the Sukhoi family tree. The fighter appears to offer a 1,700-mile range, a top speed just under 1,400 miles per hour, and five internal hard points. Like other similar low-vis aircraft, the design will likely negate a portion of a stealth cross-section with arms and external fuel tanks, with mission capability determined by the range and level of visibility desired. The compromise was not unforeseen, being common to most 5th gen fighters. The Checkmate is stated to be capable of more than 16,000 pounds of payload, with considerable crossover to a future manned fighter variant expected. Coming up after these messages, Aquiline Drone supports veteran pilot training. More news after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Honeywell launches new inertial navigation systems. Honeywell has launched a fresh update to an older navigational standby, the Inertial Navigation System, as a resilient, robust, GPS-independent system for aircraft in areas bereft of satellite navigation service. The Honeywell Compact Inertial Navigation System and Radar Velocity System were released in function with partner company InfiniDome's anti-jamming system. GP Dome for commercial and military customers needing reliable solutions that are small, light, and powerful. Unlike previous generations of similar equipment, the new additions can support not only smaller aircraft, but unmanned vehicles as well, especially those flying BVLOS. UAVionics completes Bolt Quest 2021. 
UAVionics and R-Cube engineering team has completed its successful participation in joint DoD and NATO training event BoltQuest 2021. The company assisted in the joint operation by conducting over 13 hours of flight mission time in support of the Mode 5 IFF mission with their DoD AIMS certified RT2087-7PXB micro IFF receiver, continued testing of Mode 5 Level 2B, a rough military analog to civilian ADSB services, has been in development as the DoD paves the way forward to next-generation services. DOT announces a new climate plan. United States Transportation Secretary released his administration's newest climate action plan at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, Scotland geared towards cementing a net-zero greenhouse gas emissions goal for the U.S. aviation sector manned and unmanned by 2050. He promises the plan can combat climate change while growing the economy and creating skilled, high-paying employment for workers in America. Three more GPS 3F satellites ordered. The U.S. Space Force exercised its second contract option valued at approximately $737 million for the procurement of three additional GPS-3 follow-on space vehicles from Lockheed Martin on October 22nd. This contract option is for GPS-3F space vehicles 15, 16, and 17. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Aqualine Drones supports veteran pilot training. Aqualine drones granted Connecticut VFW Commander Lee Wilson with their scholarship to ADES Flight to the Future Online Drone Pilot Training Program after his entry to a local flying event raffle. The former Gulf War Army Sergeant is a technician employed by the Department of Connecticut for the Veterans of Foreign Wars post-1926 in Rocky Hill. After completion of his online course, he will earn FAA Drone Pilot Certification. To build their knowledge base before entering the industry, pilots can virtually attend Aqualine's Freedom to Fly training course, where they will not only obtain their FAA commercial drone pilot credentials, but advanced training in cloud and edge computing, AI, and LOT integration. Unlike a similar How to Fly course that essentially teaches a student some regulations and remote control layout, F2F teaches students how to use AD's proprietary command and control cloud platform. Fleet management, operational upkeep, safety, and compliance all add a professional aspect to student pilots, creating a sharper, more desirable operator. Before turning the newly minted pilot loose, AD provides a course on all aspects of building a drone-based business. From analysis of lacking services, formation, insurance, leasing, and marketing, military members and veterans are eligible for a discount on the course. After the break, Arrow Vireman gets Switchblade 600 contract. Those details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal. 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. 
Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back. AeroVironment gets Switchblade 600 contract. For years, smart missiles, the hypothetical autonomous munitions, have remained a futuristic element relegated to media and gaming. Finally, it seems reality is catching up to fiction. Referred to as loitering missile, the Switchblade 600 represents a new generation of semi-autonomous range munitions that have come of age in recent years to face rapid integration into armed forces looking for enhanced lethality with minimal operations footprint. Consisting of a manned portable 33-pound drone-like warhead and 50-pound launch and communication system, the weapon system offers considerable flexibility in munitions delivery with very small changes to existing infrastructure, easing integration and loading. The trend has continued with their new contract for $20 million with U.S. SOCOM, one of the more well-heeled military buyers ready to integrate bleeding-edge technology into their combat capabilities. Flexibility is the greatest benefit of the loitering missile system, with other boons like speed, ease, and portability that make it possible for missions to be planned and operational in less than 10 minutes. Using the small tube launcher, the switchblade is sent into a holding pattern above, capable of 40 minutes hang time awaiting command. Equipped with precision EOIR gimbaled sensors, precision flight control, and an anti-armor warhead. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.